you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk for those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalkers Mwah! welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much we're coming along together on this journey. We are going to go right into this. You saw from the title, it cannot be that good. I'm going to get to the butt part. What I want to show you is a bag that was sent to me by Koei Handbags. And Koei Company team, thank you so much for allowing me to select this bag to do a review in collaboration with you. All of the details concerning Koei, if you're interested in the bag that I show you, you'll be able to go to their site, koeibags.su. All of that information will be flashed up here and it'll also be listed in the description box below, how to contact them, what percentage off you can get if you're interested in making a purchase. Thank you, Koei, for allowing me to select this bag to do this review because I think that you guys are going to be very, very interested in what I show you and my thoughts about it. The bag that I selected to review from Koei Bags, a vintage jumbo classic single flap from back in the day day and specifically this bag. I'm going to hold this up so you can see all the way back circa 1994 through 1996. This bag aesthetically is the big CC with the turn lock. Because this is a review, I am going to just post up here, here, some pictures of me or videos of me taking this out of its respective box. This is the bag that I selected. And just as I stated from the picture that I showed you, this is a vintage jumbo classic single flap. This bag, when I took it out of its box, was very interesting because when I looked at the bag, this bag looks so close to the authentic version. This is all lambskin leather. You see the marking here? I'm gonna open on the inside interior of this bag. And I have stuff in this because one thing that I knew I wanted to do is I knew I wanted to road test this bag, see exactly what it was like. This is all leather. This is super soft. If you take a look at the grommets at the top of the bag, you can Google search this bag, the authentic version, vintage version, and look at the comparison and it is quite impressive. I questioned when I show you this at the back with the Mona Lisa pocket, I'm not going to get into all of the details, but I want you to be able to see how good this is. If you look at the underneath, you look at the size, you look at the front of the bag, look at the marking on the jumbo CC here. Everything is in line. I have no problem holding this up close so that you can see everything. So now let me just say this to you all. One thing that I was very impressed with, with the way that this was shipped is every single thing that you would want to have with this bag from the sturdy dust bag, the paper that the bag was stuffed with, the ribbon, the flower, camellia flower, Chanel paper. It also comes with the shopper bag so that if you decided you wanted to get this bag, you could very easily get this bag. What I also like about this, the shipping box snugly fit this box right inside. I am real big on how these bags come shipped. You know that if I do a review for a rep dupe, I'm gonna tell you everything about what my experience was. For this beauty right here, the moment that I began to unbox this was all pleasantries. There was there were no issues with this. Everything with the straps to the turnkeys to the CCs was covered in protective clear plastic. The interior of the bag was stuffed with that rectangular paper that I showed you that was inside of this box. This bag is one of those bags that will give a 
vintage authentic piece a run for the money this bag is essentially almost flawless now i gotta be real with you how some of these entities get so close to the authentic this bag i am telling you is extreme where it just looks that good this bag <laughs> has some surface scratches on it from me carrying it and I'm fine with that because I actually would prefer that this bag broke in to the point where it, it looks like it is a vintage piece that has been carried and has been well loved and that's actually almost one of the things that I wish that, that this bag or these bags if they were coming as a vintage bag would come a little bit more on the aged side where it looked a little bit more believable because for me, a bag that is from 1994 through 1996, unless you were buying something that was absolutely pristine and never carried, it, it almost feels like it's just a little too good, a little too perfect. Do I mind that with a dupe? No, I don't mind that with a dupe a1 rep i don't mind that but if this were an authentic bag yes i would mind that and i prefer bags that show a little bit more wear and tear especially if they're older pieces i don't think that they have to be perfect pieces however i am going to say this to you with regards to this jumbo single classic flap that if you are interested in getting this bag you can go on to koeybags.su site and you can take a look around to see all of their offerings. Now, when it comes to the jumbo size bags, I believe this and another style are the only offerings for a vintage-esque type of a bag. But if you're looking for something that you want to fit the bill of a vintage jumbo maxi and you don't want to drop the five thousand to six to ten thousand dollars that it takes to get one of these real time today then this may be the way to go i think this rings in somewhere around 368 dollars right under 400 dollars you're getting a lot of bang for your 400 dollars almost box and i'm squeezing this so you can see how soft this is how robust this is the leather smells fantastic. And I think if you decided that you wanted to shop on Koei's site, you would not be wrong in selecting this piece. So that brings us to one of my feelings about this bag or this piece. I would rate this bag a solid eight and a half out of a 10. And the reason why I give this a solid eight and a half out of 10, this bag look is perfect it looks perfect from the perspective of if this were something that were vintage and were never carried it would be exactly as it looks at this point but because this is supposed to be indicative of a vintage bag it's a little too perfect in terms of what it looks like not to say that i don't like it but if this bag had a little bit of a teeny bit of wear and tear maybe a little bit of tarnish to this it would push higher probably to a 9.5 out of a 10. but all in all this is a beautiful piece if you chose to invest your money in it so you guys there you have it that is my review of the dupe chanel vintage classic single flat bag from koei bags if you decide you want to make a purchase off of koei bags.su's site you can use code koei bags for 13 percent off of your total purchase or purchases if you choose more than one or if you're interested in seeing more about koei bags you can also check them out on TikTok, also on Instagram. If you're interested, you can do that as well. If you just plain old wanna have some communications with them, you can chat with them via WhatsApp. All of the information, again, will be down in the description box below. And I want to remind you, you all know if you watched my last video, my giveaway started on October the 6th. It is running for five full weeks. You have until midnight november the 10th so that is sunday november the 10th midnight to get yourself entered in the giveaway for one of two bags and if you enter into this giveaway 
put yourself in the running depending upon what it is you're interested in for the mini golf nothing written new with all tags attached or the chanel chain around hobo bag this is the considered the large size rep piece all lambskin leather bag it's either this bag or this bag all you need to do is three simple things like comment and subscribe in your comment just let me know which one of these bags you're interested in you need to go back and look at the video to figure out a little bit more in depth about these pieces you can you can go back in my history and look at the reviews i did of both of these bags simple like comment subscribe leave a comment with regards to which one of these bags you're interested in doesn't matter if it's the video where i announced the giveaway or this video or whatever is coming up until november the 10th you just simply need to like comment and subscribe let me know which one of these bags you are interested in there will be one bag per lucky winner one bag one winner both winners will be announced on sunday november the 17th so it is that simple if you're interested in the giveaway get yourself like comment subscribe let me know which one and you are entered in the running for the giveaway of these two bags if you do not want to miss out on anything that i post you know what to do like comment and subscribe to my channel I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. If you are interested, head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, feel free to leave me a message there or head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on Instagram. Feel free to DM me there as well if there's anything you see in my Poshmark closet that you like. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now. Zero. One.